In this question, A is given as 8, B is given as 15, and C is given as 17. And we need to find the value of R. R is radius of this semicircle. Before starting the question, let's name this figure A, B, C. Let the center of this semicircle be point O. Let this point be D, where the radius of the semicircle and the side of this triangle are meeting each other. We will be using two properties of circle here. The radius from the center of the circle to the point of tangency is perpendicular to the tangent line. That means at the meeting point of radius and tangent, they are perpendicular to each other. Yes? So, in this case, we can apply this property with tangent AB and a C. Now, tangent AB is meeting the circle at point B. So, angle ABC will be 90 degree or we can say AB is perpendicular to radius of semicircle. Similarly, angle ODC will be 90 degree because radius of the circle OD is perpendicular to the tangent AD and DC. Yes. So, we can write down angle B is equals to angle OBC which is equals to 90 degree. Yes. We will be using one more property of tangent and circles. Tangents drawn from an external point to a circle have the same length. In this case, which are these two tangents? These two tangents are AB and AD. So, AB and AD are drawn from a common point A outside the circle. So, they both will be of equal length. That means AD will also be equals to 8. So, let's mark AD in the figure. AD is 8. If AD is 8, what will be DC? DC will be equals to 17 minus 8 which is equals to 9. Now, we can see that OC is equals to 15 minus R. We know that OD is radius of circle that is R. We will be using these three sides of the right triangle ODC. Why triangle ODC is right triangle? From this, in the beginning we saw that angle ODC is 90 degree. Now, we will apply Pythagoras theorem OD square plus DC square is equals to OC square. OD is R square, DC is 9 square equals to 15 minus R whole square. R square plus 81 is equals to, now we will expand this bracket, 225 plus R square minus 30R. To expand this bracket, I used algebraic laws. R square and R square can get cancelled. Solving this, we will get 30R is equals to 144. Solving this further, we will get 144 upon 30, which is 4.8. That means the radius of this semicircle will be 4.8. This will be our final answer.